Hi guys, it's Mr. S. We're here to talk to you about another fun activity today. This is one of our PE scavenger hunts. Another one of our searching works, except this one's gonna be a little bit different. Now, if you're unfamiliar with our searching works, they work like this. First of all, you get an amount of time to search around either inside or outside for different items on the list. Every time you find an item, you're gonna score a point. After you found your items, you're gonna get an additional amount of time to score points during the work session of the activity. By work, I mean you're gonna be doing exercises that are paired with each item to score bonus points, okay? Now, first of all, let's talk about the search portion. Now, normally I would give you a certain amount of time for the search portion, but because it's the Halloween season and I want you to get out and have a little more fun time with your family and friends, what we're gonna do is I'm not gonna give you a time limit for the search portion. And I'm not gonna give you a designated time that you have to find certain items. For instance, I'm not gonna say you have to do it during Halloween or anything like that because some communities can't do Halloween this year. So if you wanna find items anytime, anywhere, around the house, inside, you just wanna do a designated search and work activity, that's fine. And I'm not gonna give you a time limit on it. I just want you to get out and have fun. So what you're searching for, now let's talk about the search point. Every column, as you can see, has one point items, two point items, three point items, four point items, and five point items. Now let's talk about a couple of them. All right, first of all, the one point item, you have a jack-o'-lantern. So a jack-o'-lantern would be a carved pumpkin. So it doesn't have to be Halloween to find a carved pumpkin. People have uh, decorations of carved pumpkins outside already. Find it, mark it off, great. An eerie stick, pretty easy to find outside. An orange leaf, right now you can find that anytime. Now a ghost, now we're gonna talk about this one a little bit more. Now, for instance, with a ghost, let's say around my house, I just happen to have space ghost, for instance. All right. Now, space ghosts could technically be counted as two different items on the list. We have a superhero item on the list in a three-point area, and you also have a regular ghost item. But you can only use it for one item. Okay. So you're going to have to decide, do I want to use space ghosts for the ghost, or do I want to use space ghosts for the superhero item? It's up to you, but you can only use it for one item each. Right. Going down a list, Disney character. Pretty self-explanatory. Anytime that you find any item that would represent a Disney character, you're going to give yourself a point. Okay, just one time. All right. If we go to column two, you have pumpkin. That could be a regular pumpkin that you see outside for someone's decorations indoors as well. Or maybe your parent and guardian has a can of pumpkin. That counts. It's pumpkin. That's fine. Uh, spider. Could be a real life spider. Could be a decoration spider. That's fine. A broomstick, self-explanatory, a skeleton. There's all kinds of skeleton decorations. Or maybe you see a skeleton costume. That would be fine. And a pirate as well. Uh, three point items, a gourd. It's a specific fall item that you might have. I know my wife has uh, gourds around the house for fall decorations. A bat, hopefully it's just a decorated bat. Uh, candy corn, hopefully you don't have too much candy corn around your house. Halloween music, self-explanatory, superhero again. There's your superhero item for, so I decided for the ghost, I wanted to use space ghost for the ghost. So maybe for a superhero item, I just find a little figure of a superhero to give me my three points for that one. Okay, four point list, acorns outside. Pretty easy to find right now. Spooky decor, that would be decorations. Now, for instance, my wife has this hanging around the house, a spooky item hanging around the house. And technically, as you can see, that item is spooky decor and it also has a ghost on it. So once again, you're gonna have to make that decision. Do I want it to use it for the ghost or do I wanna use it for the spooky decor, or spooky decorations, okay? Flowers, any flowers, uh, robot. Once again, if you decide to do this uh, when you're out walking with your parent guardian during uh, 
Halloween time, or if you can't do it for Halloween, maybe you're in the store and you walk through the costume aisles and you see a robot. That's fine. Or maybe you have a big costume robot in your house. That's fine as well. Okay. But remember, you can only use it one time for that designated amount of points. Uh, our five point area, hay bale. Uh, we also have animal tracks. Now, obviously, you're going to have to go outside for the animal tracks unless you have a dog that steps in some mud outside and tracks it in the house, which would be unfortunate, but technically it would count. A creepy book around your house, a black cat, and finally, a Star Wars figure. As my son always has Star Wars figures laying around. He's a big Star Wars fan around the house. So those would count as well. So once again, I'm not going to give you an amount of time to work the search portion of the activity. I want you to enjoy your time with your family, friends. Uh, make sure that you're safe, safe environment. It doesn't have to be during, like I said, Halloween. It doesn't have to be a trick or treat time. It could be you're going to the store. All you do, write down on a list, write down all these different items you could find. And when you're walking through the store with your parent and guardian, mark them off your list. Maybe you just want to do it inside at your house, looking around. Uh, most of these items I actually have in my house. So just walk around the house, mark them off your list, see how many you can find. Okay. Now, for the work portion of the activity, the exercise part of the activity, I'm going to give you a time limit for that one. I'm going to give you five minutes, five minutes to do as many ex uh, different exercises as you can to earn points. Okay. So after this little tutorial, I'm going to tell you to get ready. And then I'm going to put the actual search and work board to cover the whole screen. I'm going to play uh, one of my uh, son's song from his ABC compositions, his one of his original pieces of music. And I'm going to play that song for five minutes. When the song is done, that means your five minutes is up and you're done with the work portion of your activity. So go back through your list, add up your points that you scored when you searched, add up your points that you scored during the work portion of the activity, and there you go. That's how we play search and work. I hope you enjoy the activity, have fun, be safe, enjoy your holiday season. Let's play.